Hey guys, today I am doing a men ain't shit anti-Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. This is for all my independent women who don't need no man, okay? This is basically just for bitter bitches like me who are gonna spend Valentine's Day alone, cuddled up in their room with a bottle of wine, some chocolate. You know, you can wear this look anytime. If you have an ex you want to flex on, if you have a boy you're trying to finesse, or just because you want to beat your face and celebrate your loneliness and heartbreak like me. First up, we're going to prime. I got this little sample of the Smashbox. Oh my god, here we go again. I got a sample of the Smashbox photo finish primerizer so I'm gonna use that today since it's supposed to be like a, a primer and a moisturizer at the same time I recently got the elf putty primer y'all have probably seen that like everywhere so we're gonna try that out today I mainly focus primers like in the center of my face and my forehead. We're going to go ahead and get started on the eyes. I'm going to be dipping into a lot of different palettes. I have the Norvina palette, the NYX, like Brights palette and and also this milani one i don't even know this is so old but it's so good i'm gonna take the pink in this milani eyeshadow and put that in my crease as our transition shade And you always want to start off light and then start building it up. Shoot! I forgot to put tape on. So I'm going to put tape to make like a wing for the eyeshadow. So I, I just added a little bit of tape right here because I really want to wing out my eyeshadow today. So now I'm just going to keep blending in that crease and building up the color. Now that the pink is down, we're going to start diving into purples. And I think I'm going to start out with this color from the NYX palette. It's kind of like a pinky purple, so it should be a really good transition. And then we're going to put that lower in the crease. It looks like the stars have aligned again and Mercury is back from being in Gatorade because I am back to being the only single friend in my whole friend group. One best friend is literally engaged and getting married. One best friend got into a relationship again after being in a super long one and then my last best friend is dating another dude too so yeah 
everyone's either wifed up or engaged and here I am being a lone wolf again. I'm gonna dip back into this Milani palette and then I'm gonna take the purple and put that on my lid and blend it up to that crease color. So, yep. I've been dealing with the single life again after a year. I swear I'm literally cursed. Like, my two sisters, they've been in relationships with the same person for literally at least like 10 years. Like one of my sisters met her boyfriend in the fifth grade and they're still dating. Like, And then my other sister, she's actually engaged and uh, they've been dating for something like 10 years. Here I am on the struggle bus. Okay, so now we have something looking like this. I'm already loving it. And we are going to start deepening up the inner corner and outer corners because I want to do a halo eye. I'm going to dip into this darker purple now and use that to deepen up the inner and outer creases of my eye. Okay, that did like nothing. Okay, that's literally not doing anything. Well, that didn't work too well. So now I'm gonna, mm, okay, that's really annoying. Instead, I'm gonna take the Jaclyn Hill Palette Morphe Collab, this purple, and dip my finger into it, and hopefully that will deepen it up. Jaclyn Hill palette always coming through. So for the halo eye, you want to leave the center kind of blank because we're going to be putting glitter later. I'm going back in with a pink shade to kind of re-intensify the pink. So I think I want to put the glitter on my lids now so I can kind of get the full effect before I go in and like really detail. <clears throat> now I'm going to take my Lit Cosmetics Glitter Glue and pour a little bit out onto my brush and then pack that onto my lid just in the center where I'm going to want the glitter to go. And then here I have a J-Cat glitter and then I'm going to just shove the entire brush into here and then pack it onto the 
lid where I had laid down the glue. So now I'm taking that Jaclyn Hill purple and just trying to blend that with the glitter that we just applied. I wanted to talk about like dating horror stories, but I don't really have any. <laughs> like I never had a date to prom or homecoming like I was always that friend that boys would befriend so that they could hook up with my friends <laughs> so yeah that, that was me no shame because yeah I know my friends are hot that's so tragic oh my god kind of debating whether I want to put black and make it real dark. I think I'm going to. I'm going to take the black from the Jaclyn Hill palette and also put just a little bit to really deepen up this eye look. And you're just going to put the black like right on the outer V and just right there. Yeah, something like that. Now that you're looking goth and a little bit emo, we're going to take the tape off. Since I have hella fallout on my eyes, take a makeup wipe and just wipe that off before we start with the foundation. God, I bought myself some candy how sad so yeah being single on Valentine's Day this is what it consists of chocolate and alcohol I'm not mad at it though now we're gonna do the foundation same combination from last time my NARS sheer glow and the makeup revolution stick no, I was, I've been kind of sad about being alone on Valentine's Day. Once again, there's actually no surprise there. I've never had a Valentine, a true Valentine, but whatever. I thrive when I'm single. Just the other day, I didn't have any cash on me, but I wanted to valet at this restaurant for my best friend's birthday. And I ended up being able to finesse him to valet my car <laughs> for free. Yeah, I was just like, damn, I still got it. Like I've literally been single like my whole life. So it was nice for a change of pace and actually having a boyfriend and all that sappy shit, I mean. Sometimes I think it's good to be single and just do your own thing, finger, finger, <laughs> none of that here and figure out who you are. I'm like, uh, no, sometimes it is good to be single. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer because I ran out of shape tape. I'm kind of over shape tape. 
And I got this one just because it was so cheap and I wanted to test it out. It's okay. Then I'm taking the ColourPop, a little bit of the ColourPop concealer and just putting that like right under my eye bags. I saw this funny meme the other day and it was like unless he wears a diaper you can't change him and I was like damn this is it <laughs> true okay it is true speaking of diapers though <sighs> at work this week I'm just gonna set it real quick with derma blend powder. So at work this week, I had to try and get a six year old autistic boy to change out of his poopy diaper. That in itself was a whole nother ordeal. So I'm just like trying my hardest to be like, okay, so you're going to take them off and put the new diaper on and yada, 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 and have him like wipe himself and everything like that. Like, and he's like, no, I want you to do it. You, I need help. You have to do it. I'm trying but he got it done but at one point he's wiping and he gets it on his hand and what does he decide to do take his hand and smear it all on the wall I screamed my head off I was like no he's just like what It was pretty funny, but it was a mess. Like, I, I, I do not get paid enough for this. I still love him. He's literally my best friend. Oh my God, it was so sweet. The other day, I had like a minor mental breakdown during work and I started crying and I was trying to be nonchalant so like none of the kids would see or anything like that. And then he, that same boy, he came up to me and like grabs my leg, hugs me, and then he gave me a kiss and it was so cute. And it made me cry even more. Like kids are so special. Next up, shade and light, we're gonna start bronzing. Okay, that's good. That's good. Any ravers? No? Anyone know what that is? Now I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics blush palette. And I'm going to be taking, I think this one right here. This pink blush and using that today I almost never wear pink blushes that's so not me I normally like peach blush but since it's Valentine's Day Yes, we can use pink blush today. Since we're here, we're just gonna go ahead and highlight too. I'm gonna be taking the Nicole Guerrero Anastasia highlighting palette. And I'm gonna take Kitty Cat right up here. Going to today. Oh shit, girl. 
go so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and I'll be right back eyebrows are done I always have this philosophy that when you do your eyebrows like before you have a night out the way your eyebrows turn out is going to dictate how your night goes out now i'm not going out tonight so it doesn't matter what my eyebrows look like i'm going to contour my nose really well not really contour i don't know i don't really know what the hell i'm doing i just like doing it like that because I think my nose ends up looking bigger than it really is if I don't. And now I'm going to take another drink. <laughs> now I'm going to put black in my waterline. I haven't put black in my waterline in a minute. We're going to take a pencil brush with the black liner and go right over it and make that lower lash line super smoky. Just going to have another Reese's break. If you call these Reese's, you can catch these hands. Now I'm gonna be using the Kush Mascara, putting that on really quick, and then we will get into lashes. Okay, 20,000 hours later, I am finally done with putting my lashes on. And lastly, I think all we have left is lips. I think I wanna try out doing a black lip I don't even have like black lipstick so I'm just gonna use like this flash palette I have from Halloween and use the black and let's see how it goes Yeah, I surprisingly like the black lip. So we are completely done. Now I'm going to set my face with the Morphe setting spray. That is it for this men ain't shit anti-Valentine's Day look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.